welcome. I'm Sejal Pandey. And I'm Archit Sishadri. This week on Tech It Out, we're bringing you futuristic technologies that are helping pave a better future. Plus, we'll tell you what China is doing to emerge as the next tech superpower. Plus, tips to keep you safe on public Wi-Fi networks. We're also going to take a look at the Nokia 8 and give you a review, plus all the tech news from around the world. You know, Sejal, I'm actually really, really excited about something, but I bet you can never guess what that is. So tell me, why is it that you're excited? Well, you know, we have been watching all these movies, these sci-fi movies like The Jetsons. Ooh, I and, love The Jetsons. And Star Wars and Star Trek. And you know, you see all that, but the future isn't that far away. In fact, it is right now. It is right here. Actually, you know, if I think about it, we started with feature phones. Do you remember feature phones? Barely. I think my first one might have been one of those big phones, but I what cannot even those, imagine What are those now. Nokia phones, remember, oh, with yes, keypads, yes. no dis like, no, no colored display. God. I remember when I got my first multimedia phone that had a colored display. It was so exciting. And now we're moving towards a time that's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Absolutely. Like, like the Jetsons. I mean, it's this is we're here. not far away from not the Jetsons away. era, right? We're not but what are you away. most excited about, Archit? You know, I really want to go and maybe travel in one of those uh, flying taxis. That would be really fun. What about you? What are you excited about? Um, while we're wishing, I think I'd like to travel in a Hyperloop. The concept is unimaginable. It's unbelievable. Getting from one city to the next really, really fast in those trains, right? In, in the blink of an eye. Absolutely. And you know, that's going to happen before we blink. And speaking of blinking, let's take a look at this before you blink too much. The more future technologies that are out there. Take a look at this picture. Hmm. Technology has redefined the way we live, work and travel. But that is just a beginning of a real sci-fi world that we are going to step into. The world of technology is undergoing breakthrough innovations and new advancements promise an even better future. This is not a scene from a space odyssey. In fact, this is a driverless taxi that was recently tested in Dubai. Designed by Germany-based Volocopter, it resembles a small helicopter-like cabin and can accommodate two people. This driverless flying car can fly for 30 minutes at a maximum speed of 100 km per hour. And don't worry, it has safety features in place too. And Volocopter is not the only company that is working on flying cars. Kitty Hawk, which is a Silicon Valley flying car startup, is also working on a personal flying machine. It is called the Flyer. And it is also backed by Google co-founder Larry Page. You would be surprised to know that the company plans to bring it to you by the end of this year. And while global automakers are busy designing high-speed cars that can fly, this Czech pilot, Pavel Brezina, takes a little different route. Instead of creating a car that flies, he has made a gyro drive, which is basically a mini helicopter that you can drive. The two-seater uses a helicopter-style rotor to give lift and another propeller to move forward. We didn't try to teach a car to fly. Instead, we tried to teach a certified gyrocopter to drive a short distance. It's not a matter of hundreds of kilometers. It's really about getting to the nearest airport, troll station, hotel. And in Slovakia, the Aeromobile company is gearing up to launch its flying car in 2020 with a starting price of about 1.2 million euros. But of course, it's not for the masses as the technology is still evolving. The first vehicle is not for the masses because of the price and the limited, uh, uh, limited vehicles produced. But uh, like each technology, uh, this is just the first step uh, as a proof of concept, proof of technology, uh, proof of safety. And it's just not flying vehicles that aim to revolutionize the future of travel. Hyperloop that promises a faster mode of transportation is another path-breaking technology that is in the works. Various companies are working on this new mode of transportation, which is often referred to as the near supersonic rail system. And it aims to cut travel time from hours to minutes.
and it's just not travel. Futuristic technologies are going to change the way we shop and buy. Who would have thought that one day you would be able to buy cars from a dispensing machine? But that's true. This vending machine in Singapore dispenses luxury cars. Buyers can see everything on display. All they need to do is make a choice and the car is automatically transported down by a lift. What a space-saving innovation in the land-starved Singapore. And what else? Drone delivery is another technological advancement that is seen as a landmark innovation. It's soon going to change the way you receive products at your doorsteps. In Japan, e-commerce company Rakuten has announced that it will soon start delivering goods using drones in Japan's northeastern city of Minami Soma. The drone will be able to carry up to 2 kilograms of weight. And not only this, tech titan Amazon also has plans to deliver packages via drones. And you can't miss this one. Just like you share cabs, a French startup is reaching for the skies with a flight sharing app. It aims to match pilots with passengers. The idea is to provide cost-effective ways to take off in a private aircraft. Futuristic technologies are promising and they have a potential to transform the way we live. If you were given an opportunity to make something revolutionary, what would you make? Oh, the choices, the possibilities are endless. endless. Like? Light bulbs, sliced bread. Pizza, macaroni. Yes, yes, yes. I like the food theme, but I'm going to be fair and go with something a little bit more unique that'll help society out. And that is? A fairness detector. Can you not be racist? I'm just trying to be fair because, you know, sometimes life is unfair. Oh. Fair as in fair with friends. Fair at the workplace, fair with your family. Absolutely, not about the skin yeah, thing. You know, that's a cool thing. It's not out there. I think it'll be fair. But you know, if you ever get to creating that, mm. I am going to try that on you just to see if you're bluffing about being overworked. That's only fair, I guess, right? But you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if uh, there's a certain country that's already testing out such a revolutionary device. Any guesses? My guess would be China. I say you are correct because they have really emerged and come up with a lot of cool innovation, really stepping up the ante to become the next super giant. Absolutely not surprised the way they're moving forward in the technology space. They can just create anything. Absolutely. All right, well, check this out. A look at where China is headed towards. China has made major breakthroughs in science and technology and the country has no intention to put an end to it. In fact, its ability to innovate is growing by leaps and bounds. Let's take a look at how the country is moving forward in the field of technology to become the next tech superpower. China has played a key role in revolutionizing the mobile industry. The country not only has the largest smartphone user base, but also houses a plethora of phone makers which are now a rising force in the mobile market, a market that is reshaping the landscape of the technology industry. It's not just about phones and mobile devices. China today is a match for Germany, Japan and the world's other leading high-speed train producers. This is Fu Jing, which is also referred to as the world's fastest bullet train. It runs at a top speed of 350 km per hour and takes just four and a half hours to travel from Beijing to Shanghai.
Basic science is the foundation of research and for a country to become a global power, it must have the world's leading basic science as its foundation. China isn't far away from that as well. The country is using cutting-edge technological innovations to make a space telescope which it claims would be even better than NASA's Hubble. It is claimed that with this telescope from China, human beings will be able to look further into space than ever before. And that's not all. China is the country to have released the world's first quantum communication crypto cloud server, a landmark event in the fast computing arena. What else? China has also taken a global lead in clean energy. The country has beaten the United States and has emerged as a renewable energy powerhouse. Clearly, China is leaving no stone unturned to become the next global superpower in the world of technology. Well, these are technologies that will come to us when they are fully ready, but there are technologies that exist already and we need to use them wisely. That is right. We're talking about public Wi-Fi. I mean, we all use it at the airport, railway stations, cafe, even at malls. But you do have to be careful because these spots, this public Wi-Fi could put your information at risk. So the next time you're on a public Wi-Fi network, here are some things that you should and should not do. All right, tip number one, when using a public Wi-Fi, make sure you never leave your phone or laptop unattended. It's like leaving all doors open for a criminal to enter. Tip number two, well, if you are using a public Wi-Fi, don't let your phone automatically connect to it. Instead, use the manual option and only connect if you really have to. All right, tip number three, make sure you're connecting to a legitimate hotspot. Check with the host and confirm the network name to be doubly sure. Tip number four, if you are using public Wi-Fi, make sure that you turn off file sharing and try to avoid using or accessing sensitive or personal data. All right, tip number five, don't ever do online banking on a public network as data is really vulnerable on a public network. It makes it really easy for hackers to hack into your bank account. Tip number six, if you are on a public hotspot, make sure you don't click on any suspicious links. You don't know where those links could take you, what viruses could infect your device, or if there are any prowl or hackers out there. Well, all in all, make wise computing decisions and always avoid using public Wi-Fi's to make any important transaction or communication. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, you know, during the break, we both were talking and brainstorming, and trying to pick our brain is a little tough sometimes. It's not called brainstorming, Archit. It's called asking for help. Well, you know, that you do all the time. I do, I do, because uh, hoping they'll get some help in return. Maybe you can at least help me this time with a new phone. I, I have you every time. Remember your Diwali gifts for your family? Mm, mm. Vaguely, perhaps. Acha just likes to ask for help and then conveniently forgets about it. Anyways. Anyway, go on. Do need some help because uh, I'm trying to figure out a new phone. Time for an upgrade. Phone is on its last legs. Figured you might be able to help me since you went to that Mobile World Congress event. That I apparently, apparently went to. But it's a Nokia 8. I've been sort of looking up a newer entrant in the market. So I figured you might uh, have some ideas on that. You know, Nokia 8 might be perfect for you because... We've got you a review of the Nokia 8. So Ooh. in case you're in a dilemma, just like Archit, here's a review of the Nokia 8. We break it down for you. This is the Nokia 
Nokia 8, the most expensive Android Nokia phone so far. While the phone looks promising and offers decent specs at a competitive price, the question is, is it worth your money? Let's find out. How the phone looks is pretty important, and this is where the Nokia 8 checks all the right boxes. The phone is encased in an all-metal body which makes it elegant, and the matte finish adds to the looks. While the phone comes in a couple of color options, the one that we are reviewing here is in blue. We like this color variant. And it's not just the looks, the phone has great ergonomics. The slim profile makes it comfortable to hold and the curved back and rounded corners add to its easy handling. Talking about the display, it produces good colors, has a great contrast ratio and offers excellent viewing angles. But the only downside here is that it's prone to smudges. It's a fingerprint magnet. Another important thing to note here is that while the display measures 5.3 inches, it's been designed in a way that it doesn't feel too big in the hand. A good smartphone is incomplete without a good camera. So where does the Nokia 8 stand on the camera front? Talking about the rear camera, the Nokia 8 features a dual lens setup with 13 megapixel sensors. The rear camera not only captures true to life colors, but it also generates detailed snaps. And for all you selfie lovers, the 13 megapixel autofocus front camera is pretty satisfactory. And the Nokia 8's dual sight mode feature lets you use both rear and front cameras simultaneously. It opens another door to use your camera more creatively. There are very few phones out there in the market that offer a stock Android or a near stock Android experience. And the Nokia 8 is one of those few options. The phone runs Android 7.1.1 Nougat and offers a pretty fluid experience. And the Snapdragon 835 octa-core processor paired with 4GB of RAM keeps it running seamlessly. Coming to the audio quality, the phone produces great sound results. But how about the battery? The phone is packed with a 3090mAh battery, which gives it enough juice to last for a day. On some days, the phone even lasted for over a day. At Rs 36,999, the phone is competitively priced and offers value for money. All in all, the Nokia 8 makes it to our recommendation list. But if you are not convinced enough and are looking for another good option in the same price range, we say check out the OnePlus 5. So Archit, what do you think about the Nokia 8? Do you think you're going to buy it? A little too early to tell, but I gotta weigh out my options. Dilemma, and, uh, dilemma. Even after dilemmas. breaking it down for you. I know, but sometimes, you know, I gotta really feel it. You know, I gotta really put my thinking cap on and feel like I'm making a good decision. Put your thinking cap on and ask Tejal for help. That's what you mean, right? Okay, don't and put while, words in my mouth. While Archip figures out if he wants to buy the Nokia 8 or any other phone, you go check out all the technology from around the world. Xiaomi has introduced a successor to the VR Play headset in India. And this new VR headset is called the VR Play 2. In the first look, Xiaomi's new VR headset looks like the Google Daydream. If you compare it with its predecessor, the VR Play 2 is more compact and sports a better design. And when you wear it, it feels quite comfortable. This new VR headset from Xiaomi is priced at 1,499 Indian rupees. Honolulu, the state capital of Hawaii, is cracking down on phone zombies. The city has now started to find people if they are found to be crossing the street while texting. The new ordinance in Honolulu stipulates that no pedestrian shall cross a street or highway while viewing a mobile electronic device. Fine starts at $15 to $35 for a first offence but can go up to as high as $100 for a third offence within a year. Pedestrians, however, are still allowed to talk on their phones while crossing the streets as long as they look at their surroundings. German state-owned rail company Deutsche Bahn has unveiled its first ever driverless bus. The company says the shuttle will bring passengers through a picturesque spa town to the train station. 
The test route for the self-driving bus is set in the rolling hills of the southeastern state Bavaria. From 2018, more such buses will operate on test routes in several German towns, including the country's second largest city, Hamburg. China has introduced the world's first unmanned large transport drone and it has already made its maiden flight. The delivery drone, which has been developed by Chinese Academy of Sciences and other institutions, made two circles in the sky and flew over 26 minutes in its due course. The cruising speed of the cargo drone is 313 km per hour. This concept car was unveiled at the Tokyo Motor Show 2017 and a key highlight of this car is that it is equipped with external airbags to protect against collision and fend off dents. The body panels of the Fles V2 Ultra Compact Vehicle are covered by a soft, next-generation rubber that can absorb the impact of a collision. Mobile accessories company Petron has introduced Bluetooth-enabled sunglasses in India. And they also double as a music player. Priced at Rs 999, the Vicky sunglasses are said to be the ideal for outdoor sport addicts. But the question here is, do we really need this innovation? All right, we've talked about public Wi-Fi, we've talked about China being a superpower, and of course the Nokia 8. Which Archit still hasn't decided whether he's going to buy that or not. Give me a week, I'll decide, but still need some time. We're giving you a week to come back next week. We'll see you at the same time. Absolutely, and don't forget you can check out all of our social media channels on Facebook, Twitter, and of course Instagram. See you next week. Bye.